have you been doing this for? Uh, nine years now. And uh, how does it feel like to get an award for your commitment? It's, it's nice. It's nice to be uh, be given recognition for the time that we put in the Army Cadets, especially with it being a Diamond Jubilee. You know, it's quite a big thing, 60 years. It's, you know, it's all around again, like. I mean, having said that, how does it feel like, because it's all related to the Diamond Jubilee and the Queen obviously giving you recognition for this? Yeah, it's nice because um, it's, it's not something that happens every day. You know, we won't certainly see it again in our lifetime, and I, there's not many monarchs uh, for 60 years. So, yeah, it's quite an honour, quite a privilege. Yeah. And uh, how important do you think events like these are for the general public? Uh, it's quite good. It raises the profile of, of the Army Cadet Force, and I think it raises the profile of the armed forces generally, especially with what's been going on recently in the operations in, in Afghanistan and Iraq. So, throughout your time doing this, has there been any highlights? Yeah, I think one of the best things a couple of years ago, we did the uh, 150th anniversary of the Army Cadet Force at the Lincoln Cathedral. We had a parade and a service at the cathedral. That was a, that was that was quite a special event. That again, because I just happened to be in at that time when that was going on, it was quite nice to be involved in that. Yeah. How many years have you been doing this for? Uh, I was in the army for 25 years, and I've been doing the Army Cadet Force for seven years now. Seven years. How does it feel like to get a medal for uh, commitment? A medal of commitment, it's a um, holistic view of it all, it's, it's, it's for everybody, it's more of a, a thank you really, part of the Queen's Diary of Jubilee, uh, I received the Silver Jubilee, uh, now to get this uh, for working with the youth of today, is, uh, it's quite humbling really, but yeah, at the same time nice for recognition. And have there been any highlights throughout your time? Highlights? They're all highlights working with young people, it's fantastic, you know, it's, uh, it's just it's hard, difficult to, to, have, to have the diction to say, but working with young people, but it's uh, difficult at times, but the, the more, there are more highlights uh, working with the youngsters of, of, of today than down, to put it that way. So, yeah, it's good fun. I understand that you two are married, so this is kind of like a link thing. How does that feel like? It's fine. Yeah, we, we get on all right, so. So has it been quite difficult over the years, or? Well, I was, uh, I've been in the... ATF for about nine years, and then uh, about four years ago, the wife uh, used to help as a like just a civilian assistant, uh, and then she come along and went the whole hog really, put put the greens on. So uh, it's been quite it's been quite nice sort of working together as a family really. Yes, it has actually because we've got two sons that are also in the ATF as well, so it is a major family affair. And how does it feel like to get an award for recognition like this? It's the first um, parade I've ever done. Hmm. Yeah, considering I spent so many years in the army, like, and picked up all the other medals, it's so, the first time. So you're looking forward to the rest of the event then? Oh yes. <laughs>